A potentially historic vote tonight at the State House. A group of House lawmakers set to vote on abortion rights. This vote on the amended version of the Reproductive Privacy Act is the first of its kind here in Rhode Island. And taking a live look at the State House and the House Judiciary Committee right now, where discussion on this vote is getting underway. The legislation would guarantee the right to an abortion in the state in case there is a change to the landmark 1973 Roe v. Wade decision, which legalized abortion nationwide. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado has been tracking this bill and is live at the State House. Steph. Mike and Shannon, this has really been a common scene at the State House throughout this session. Pro life and pro choice advocates rallying here, just filling the halls, filling the rotunda as lawmakers consider passing abortion rights legislation. Now, tonight's vote is really the first of its kind. A pro life Speaker of the House allowing a vote to move forward in committee on reproductive rights legislation. After years of debate over abortion rights, tonight the Rhode Island House Judiciary Committee will take its first ever vote on the issue, deciding whether to approve an amended version of the Reproductive Privacy Act. The bill legalizes abortion up to fetal viability, with an exception to preserve the life or health of the mother. It also explicitly affirms the federal ban on partial birth abortion. What this bill does is really just codifies Roe v. Wade, which I do support. Um, it's not about expanding uh, uh, abortion rights. The Roe versus Wade decision from 1973 does say states can't ban abortion when it comes to preserving the life or health of the mother. But Republican David Place says he's voting against the bill tonight because he wants a better definition of health. There aren't a whole lot of people that argue between the life of the mother, but when you open it up to the health aspect of it, it's a very broad statement. All it says is the health of the mother. Well, what aspect of the health of the mother? Judiciary Chairman Bob Craven is pro-choice. He says he's still not sure if he has the votes in committee to pass the bill. Tonight, the Senate Judiciary Committee is also taking testimony on abortion rights. The Senate President, Dominic Ruggiero, leans pro-life. Would you be okay with bringing the bill to the floor despite your personal views? Uh, yes, I would. And that House Judiciary vote is about to begin downstairs. I actually spoke to Chairman Craven again a few minutes ago. He told me he is reasonably, reasonably comfortable that the bill will pass out of committee. We will, of course, bring you those results on Eyewitness News as soon as the vote happens. Live at the State House, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. First, developing news right now. The House Judiciary Committee just voted that would enshrine abortion rights in Rhode Island state law. As it has many times before, the debate over abortion has drawn big crowds of demonstrators to the State House, both for and against legal abortion. Let's get right to Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado live at the State House. Steph? Well, the House Judiciary Committee just voted about a minute ago, nine to seven, in favor of the abortion rights bill that has been a major subject of debate here at the State House all year round. In fact, you can see behind me we've got folks on both sides of the debate rallying in the middle of the rotunda. Um, presumably, they just received the news or are about to receive the news that the bill has passed the committee again just a minute ago in a vote of nine to seven. From here, the bill goes on to the House floor and. And this bill passed the Judiciary Committee, but not after a significant amount of debate, about 45 minutes of debate after multiple lawmakers uh, uh, expressed concerns about the bill. What the bill would do is it would legalize abortion in Rhode Island in the case of perhaps Roe versus Wade being overturned. It would ban late-term abortion, but it would allow late-term abortions in the case of um, an issue with risk to the mother's life or health. And so what lawmakers were debating in the Judiciary Committee was the definition of that word health. Some people had concerns that the word health could be used, for example, to describe mental health, and so they wanted further definitions. But again, the vote was just held 9 to 7 in favor of that bill, Mike and Shannon. So, Steph, what happens now that this has made it out of committee? What's the next step? So the next step is for it to go to the House floor, and this is really interesting because the Speaker of the House, Nicholas Mattiello, is pro-life, so we don't know if he will vote on the bill, if he will vote against the bill when it goes to the floor, but we will. We should expect a robust debate on the House floor and a divided vote on the House floor. Um, an abortion bill did receive a majority of House members as a sponsor earlier this year. The version that passed to the Judiciary Committee is a little bit different. Um, and then, of course, there's the Senate. The Judiciary Committee and the Senate 
Senate is hearing testimony right now on this abortion bill, and the question is whether it will pass the Senate. So the bill still has a ways to go, but this was uh, certainly a big deal, this vote, because bills to preserve abortion rights have been introduced every year, and for the first time, it now just passed out of committee. Back to you guys.